project includes a template scene named CCDS Vehicles Prototype for creating and editing the player vehicles. We can create, test, and edit all player vehicles in the scene. Drag and drop the vehicle model to the scene to get started. Make sure X, Y, and Z axes are correct on your vehicle model, otherwise vehicle physics won't work properly. Adding the RCC car controller to the vehicle with CCDS player script. RCCP will ask us to fix pivot position of the vehicle model. Choose yes if your model has not centered pivot position. Now, the main vehicle controller component has been added to our vehicle along with CCDS player script. We must set up our vehicle with RCCP, just starting by choosing wheel models for front and rear axles. Left and right sides are important. Be sure to pick correct ones. RCCP will guide us if there's something wrong with the vehicle setup. Seems like our vehicle model is missing a collider, adding a mesh collider to the body. Even at this point, our new vehicle is ready to test and can be added into the game, but it's missing adding components such as inputs, damage, particles, audio, stability, etc. Just clicking the Add-in Component button will add corresponding component to the vehicle. We'll be using all features of RCCP, so adding all add-in components right now. Some add-on components don't require anything. They will be using the default demo resources, but lights, damage, and some other add-in components requires their setup. Let's take a ride. This vehicle is using demo resources of RCCP. You can change any of them when you have time. Perfect, now we have to create a prefab version of our vehicle game object. We can simply click the Create Prefab button to do this. Now, we have a linked prefab, but it still won't be included in the game yet because we need to select it in the CCDS Player Vehicles scriptable object. Simply clicking the Add Prefab to Player Vehicles list button will add it to the game. We can access to the Player Vehicles list by Tools, Bonecracker Games, CCDS, Player Vehicles. This is a scriptable object, which can be found in the resources folder of CCDS. We have a quick actions panel to change engine handling and brake strengths. Let's get back to the main menu and see the results. Our new vehicle is visible and selectable right now, but we are missing customization options for our vehicle because we haven't added customizers yet. Let's take a ride and we'll be dealing with customizers after that. Everything seems to be working fine. Let's get back to the prototype scene and add customizers to our vehicle. Our vehicle has customizer component already, but it's missing customizers inside. Just clicking the Create button will add corresponding customizer to the vehicle. We'll be using all of them. For spoilers, neons, and decals, we have to change locations of them. Manager will only enable or disable them.
Upgrade managers have five upgraders inside, engine handling, brake, nose, and speed. Paint Manager includes individual painter game objects to paint target materials. Just select the target material and pick the correct keyword for the main color. Wheel customization doesn't require anything. All changeable wheel prefabs are located in the prefabs folder of CCDS. Checking the main components. Don't forget to save the prefab after making changes. Let's get back to the main menu and test the vehicle's customization. All customizers' buttons are interactable right now because our vehicle has all of them. You can add your own spoiler models, decals, and neons if you wish. You're not restricted with demo resources. And we have a fully configurated vehicle ready to be used in the game. As I mentioned before, you are free to change anything related to the vehicle configuration. More detailed info about vehicle physics can be found in the RCCP documentation. Everything seems to be working fine. Let's get back to the prototype scene and add other components to the vehicle. Start with lights. Add low beam, high beam, brake, reverse, and indicator lights to the vehicle. RCCP comes with many opportunities. We are just placing them in the editor without editing them, but we can change anything related to the light. We can simply duplicate any light for opposite side by clicking the duplicate button. But if our model has wrong pivot position, this won't work properly. That's why pivot position and X, Y, Z axes are so important. Damage component will initialize itself if you haven't configured it yet. That means it can collect unwanted meshes like wheels, steering wheels, and other interior meshes. 
We're going to disable auto initialization and choose damageable meshes, wheels, parts, and lights. These are the other add-on components. We are going to use only required ones. Creating and placing the hood camera. Creating and placing the exhausts. Don't forget to save the prefab after making changes. Let's get back to the main menu and see the results. Thank you for watching.